Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So I'm going to use four decks of powerful cards today to really tune in and see what's going on with you, your masculine and the journey and to bring in some clarity. There's a lot of changes around today. It's really windy in the UK and things are being blown about and the angels are saying it's the last of the storm before the sun breaks through and the sun's trying to break through today. So you have to remember that when it's windy, when the elements are showing you what's going on in the other realms, really drink it in because it's showing you things are being blown around, changes are coming in because decisions are being made. This month of May is all about preparation and solutions and finding the answers and June is about making the changes that you're being guided to make. And that's where you are right now, Divine Feminine, on your path, in your journey, and where your masculine is in releasing the past. So Feminines, you're on a journey right now of creativity, of finding yourself, of working on you, finding your purpose and working on your mission. And the masculine's mission is to leave behind what was, to come forward to what will be and what is, which is you. And thank you to everyone who watched the channeled message yesterday super powerful from the masculine's higher self tuning in with their energy they are speaking to you saying to you that they will love you for the rest of their life that they see their future with you that they want to build a family with you so take that in drink it in and take it into your day and know without you know a doubt in your mind that you are safe and protected on this journey so we're going to use the cat tarot today to really spice it up a bit, to bring in some cat energy, meaning strength and independence. We're going to use the animal cards again to see what animal totems and spirits are around us today. We're going to use the Law of Attraction Tarot and the Witch's Familiar Tarot. So I'm going to use, well these are cat familiars, but these have got a lot of cats in there. So we're going to use a lot of tarot today to see what's going on. And don't forget, if you remember, it's the last day to get involved to win this Power of Surrender deck. So if you want to get involved in that and you're a member, follow the instructions that I've written today in the community post. And just to show you guys this beautiful cushion, look at this bad boy. Look how big it is. You know, that's how big it is. I never realised how big it was. I thought it would be smaller, but this is perfect. These are so beautiful. And they come in all different colours. So if you'd like a guided by angels cushion, to show you wherever you put it on your bed, on your sofa, that you are protected by angels and guided by them always. Go to the shop and you'll find all the information to get this and many more things beside. So I'm still waiting on one t-shirt and a mug. I can't wait to show you guys them, but how beautiful. Guided by angels, cushions, love them, pillows. Okay, let's do this then. So, before I shuffle the cards, a few things have come through intuitively. Last night in the night, George was really struggling to sleep. And you guys know that he's my Divine Masculine, and he channels the Divine Masculines on his channel, Blue Eyes Tarot. And I always keep an eye on what George is going through because he always connects with the collective. And sometimes he doesn't realise it as much as he should, that he's tuning in with the masculine energy. And last night it was the same, he was really struggling to sleep. And about half past three, I woke up in the morning and he was still lying there and he couldn't sleep. And he got his dressing gown on and he said, OK, I'm going to go down and make a tea and try and, you know, clear this energy. And I just kind of pulled him into my arms and I said, Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping my beloved to sleep right now. And he just went to sleep. It was so beautiful. And... You know, he'd probably never admit to that, you know, but the masculines need the love of the feminine. And the masculines right now are struggling. They're struggling to sleep. They're struggling to relax. They're struggling to rest, you know. They're even struggling to get the words out. So they need to rest and recharge the batteries. And that's the feminine's job. So you can send your masculine love and light and, you know, ask Archangel Raphael to help them to rest well, to fall asleep and to recharge their batteries. You can feel your masculine falling asleep in your arms and really holding them and cleansing them. 
and it's a really beautiful nurturing love and that you know really hit home to me during that time in the middle of last night how powerful the feminine's love is that you know you can just put your masculine to sleep and the angels are there to assist us but it's the feminine energy that creates that safety and the masculines are craving your safety right now there's also some body things going on and you guys know we always pick up on the, these body sensations and what they're going through in their physical body oh especially if they're falling over okay the tablet just fell over there so especially if they feel like they're falling over and you're picking up on these symptoms so i'm going to tell you what they are so they've been tuning me in with this we've been having stomach ache so if you've been having any stomach issues stabbing pains needing to go the loo more finding that you can't go the loo you know if you've been having any stomach issues it's solar plexus related which is connected with fear and it's excitement but it's also fear so it's a double-edged sword you know there's a lot of fear going on a lot of change so the masculines are tuning in with all of this right now they're tuning in with that energy and you're connecting with that they've also been giving me um, knee pain or knee aches, or, you know, when you're walking and your knees are locking up, it's fear of moving forward, you know, knees are joints, so it's about changing your perception, moving into a different direction, moving forward, legs are about moving forward, so if you've been having any knee issues, it's because things are easing up, you know, the masculines are starting to move it forward now, they're starting to make the changes they're being guided to make, and arms, if you've been having arm ache, you know, they've been giving me arm cramps and pins and needles and tingling and aches in the arms. Arms are about reaching out because the masculines are being guided to reach out. So any arm pain, that's why. You may have had many other different things. Remember, the symptoms are connected with your unique personal journey. And there is so many other things going on. But the big ones they show me today are legs or knees especially stomach and arms and obviously the sleepless nights and the the struggling to sleep if you're picking up on that so the angels saying keep the faith all as well we are safe so thank you angels what's going on with the feminines today wow wow amazing how they jump out there what's going on with the masculines today amazing and what's going on with this journey wow look at that jumping out the deck someone said to me yesterday do you know that when your cards jump out, do you always pick them up? I always pick them up. It's very rare that there was one time during a Q&A where a card went under the table and I didn't notice it and then I shared it later. And that was because it was a huge message that needed to come through. So I've got two cards over the other side of the room here. There we go. So we're going to do the animal cards. What do we need to know for the feminines today? And for the masculines today, please, angels. Wow, look how they're jumping out. When I was getting ready this morning as well, I actually sprayed hairspray into this eye by accident. So I also feel like sticky eyes. So you could be feeling tired today, connected with your masculine. You know, it feels like I need to wash the eye out. So it feels like you may need to wash out things you've seen. You know, there's a lot of change going on right now. So affecting the eyes as well. Look how these cards are just jumping out here. So powerful today again. What's going on with the masculines today? And what do we need to know oh, for the journey? What do we need to... Wow, look how they're jumping out. They're even jumping into the piles before I've even took them out of the deck there. What do we need to know for the feminines? Wow. What do we need to know for the feminines? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What do we need to know for the divine masculines? Wow. A lot of cards and what do we need to know oh okay for the journey i'm taking the ones that have jumped out here here and on the floor okay so there's a lot of energy and when there's energy jumping around the weights jumping around today it's because there's change thank you the blocking throat chakra now <clears throat> it's because there's change coming in the blocking throat chakra connected with communication. There's wind around today, which means things are blowing out the way. There's changes going on. So you've been asked to trust and keep the faith. So we're going to do a card then right now. What does your masculine want to say to you today? There we go. Wow, I see you everywhere. So they're seeing you everywhere today, Divine Feminine. 
seeing you in their, you know, their day-to-day -day life, wherever they go. And in the channel message, the masculine said, you know, they're seeing you in, you know, the person that's serving them in a shop on the television. Everywhere they're seeing you. A lot of power coming in. So what do you want to say back to your masculine today, Divine Feminine? What do you want to say back to your masculine? Let's have a look. Well, you're thinking about it. So you're thinking about what to say, working things out. Here we go. Wow, I wish you were here. I wish you were here. So your masculine saying to you, I see you everywhere. And you're saying, well, I wish you were here. So because you're wishing your masculine was with you, they are connecting with that energy. And they are feeling you and seeing you everywhere. So powerful. So for the masculines then, wow, look at this one. Now, when I'm reading the tarot, you guys know I read it intuitively. And what I'm seeing in this card straight away is power. You know, these cat tarot, they kind of signify celebrities. So this could also show you that your masculine is a celebrity. Or maybe you're a celebrity watching this tuning in thinking about your feminine or your masculine right now and this is showing you that you may be famous you know your masculine may be famous but they may be famous to you in many different ways but they are just perfect the way they are you know so this shows that you know they may be in a status you know like this situation in their life where they're creating power and stability or this persona of them being somebody else but really, they are them. And you have to see beyond the illusion, beyond the mask of what they are trying to portray. And that's exactly how all the masculines are right now. They kind of act as if they are somebody else and they hide who they really are behind who they are trying to portray. So really, all the masculines are actors or actresses and they do it very well because they come across like they don't care and they hide the true feelings and they wear these masks. So the good actors or actresses, and that's what the angels are saying. So again, it doesn't matter, remember, if they are an actual celebrity or not, a real actor or actress, this is how they behave in their reality. And this is when they're putting things on social media, you know, showing they've got this amazing life. They're showing they are strong and independent and they've got it going on. When in spiritual truth, they're hiding behind a mask. And this cat is showing you that energy. You know, and cats have nine lives, so they do keep picking themselves up. So the masculines are finding themselves and they're going through this amazing rebirth every day. So every day they get reborn. You know, they find themselves when they get knocked down, the tablet fell over for a reason. They get back up. They stand on the feet. They find themselves. So this is about them constantly being reinvented. It's like your masculine is an onion. And all the layers are being peeled off the onion one by one. And just when you think you've revealed the truth, more comes off. So they're constantly reinventing themselves. They're constantly showing off a side of them that doesn't really exist. But you see through all of their illusion. You see through all of who they are because you know the truth that they are strong, that they are powerful. And this is Wonder Woman here. And I know that this is obviously... You know, this is masculine energy here. And you could see there is very feminine energy, power and strength. But this is also showing that they are inspired by you and the way you are because you see through the mask and the illusion and you stand up for who you are and who they are. So you keep fighting no matter what for this connection. You don't give up. And they are starting to move forward and realize this because they're realizing what is important. And that's the way they feel. The way they feel, remember, is always real, not this mask that they wear. So they are starting to gain the strength and the clarity to speak the truth. And in Wonder Woman, Diana's kind of rope, it makes people speak the truth. So the masculines are starting to speak the truth. They're starting to stand strong, to stand alone. A bit like Robin Hood here, you know. And this is Robin Hood energy or Peter Pan. You know, okay, it's Peter Pan. I'm feeling Robin Hood though. Okay, that's what they're showing me because I'm reading it intuitively. But this is actually um, Peter Pan. So it's showing you, you know, that the masculines are realizing that this is a never ending story. Okay, that they need to move towards Neverland, that they need to understand the truth. You know, the angel actually is saying they're moving away from never Neverland. It's like a never ending story, but they're moving away from Neverland where things never change. 
So they're moving now towards a new beginning. So when I'm tuning in with this card, and this is a six of cups and it's all about memories, but I'm feeling that they're kind of leaving behind what isn't serving them. And that's the things that never change, you know, the way that they are in their karmic situations. Never changing their ways, never changing their mind. And they're preparing for this new beginning. A bit like Robin Hood making that decision to help the poor, you know, to help the needy. So the masculines are moving away from whatever they've created in their life to create a new life. And this is going to be a life of mission, a life of purpose. So they're preparing for that right now. And I don't know the true backstory of Robin Hood, but I'm pretty sure he wasn't, you know, doing what he was doing originally. So whatever your masculine's doing right now, what this is trying to say to you that they're realizing there's more important things to life. There's more important things like love and mission and purpose and gaining clarity. So they're moving away from Neverland and they're moving towards a new beginning. So when I'm tuning in with this card intuitively, I'm seeing this as the fresh start that they're wanting to make, the fool, you know, moving forward, not back, changing things, standing up for what they believe in. And this is what they're doing with the Wonder Woman card here, you know, making changes, decisions. And this is a queen. You know, this card's a queen. Um, I'm not, I think it may be the Queen of Wands, um, which would make sense because obviously the Queen of Wands is fire and it's very much about fire and passion energy. You guys may know if you read these cards regularly, the actual meanings of them, but I'm reading these intuitively. And then we've got this one here. And what I'm feeling with this card anyway is hope, okay? I'm feeling hope for the future, illusion, change, moving out of the past. So this is who they were. Or who they are trying to be when they are in their fear and their ego. And this is their higher self standing strong and fighting against that. So they see the truth. And then this is what they're striving for. And we've got the dragonfly here. And the dragonfly is a light worker card. It's all about change and transformation. But this is, you know, it's about evolving and moving towards mission. You possess the power of light. The dragonfly symbolizes change. And as I said, it were on 1717, which symbolizes change and being on the right path and moving forward. Change and transformation and being open to experience new things. It's usually symbolic of something big unfolding in your personal journey. Every flight the dragonfly takes is perilous, yet truly unforgettable. So they're moving forward. They're starting to realise they need to make this change. And it may seem scary to them, but they're preparing for it. And I'm going to go to the Angel Numbers book by Kyle Gray and read you the 1717 because we we're on it then. You are magical. So your masculine is realising right now that they are magical. Whatever concerns or blocks you have been experiencing are now being released so you can turn your dreams into reality. And this is also a sign for you, Divine Feminine. So when you're seeing 1717, it's a sign that blocks are being removed and your dreams are coming true. And we've got the Orca here, the soul guidance. The Orca is asking you to get in touch with your inner self through meditation and through soul searching. All the knowledge you require for yourself is within your soul. So you must learn to trust your instincts and allow your power to come forth. Going inward is the only way to go forward right now. So the masculines are going within to seek the guidance, to prepare for what they need to do to make the changes, to blast out of the water, to move forward and change. And we've got the hair, and this keeps coming up, the rabbit, the hair. We've cut the hair, which symbolizes the great severing, the changes coming in. So it's showing you these changes. And this is about creativity. So the masculines are starting to get creative about their journey, about moving it forward, about communicating, about their purpose and who they are. The hair represents illumination, initiation, intuition, promise and balance. And this is also signifying feminine energy. So the masculines are going within and they're really tuning into their feminine side, which is activating their creative talents their wisdom and their inspiration and their desire to change. Strongly feminine in energy, she will come into your life when you need to look within and figure things out. And this is where they are, they're figuring things out. They're sorting things out, they're making decisions, they're preparing to make decisions. 
time to calm down and take a moment. If you are struggling creatively, the hair can help the energy to flow once again. So for some of the masculines, they're going to be changing their job, changing their work, their career, their focus, and moving towards their mission. So this is the hair guiding them forward and showing them what to do. And we've got the cow again for nourishment. And this came out before because the cow is showing the masculines that they need to be looking after themselves. They need to be sleeping better. And that really came through to me last night. They need to be looking after themselves, drinking more water, replenishing themselves, eating better. You know, looking after the physical wealth better, their physical health, because health is wealth. And when you feel healthy, you feel powerful and you feel free and you feel strong. Connected to Mother Earth, the cow reminds you to nourish yourself physically, mentally and emotionally. If you neglect the basics, it will be impossible for you to live happily and thrive. Ask yourself if you're eating well, drinking enough water and taking enough exercise to keep your mind, body and spirit balanced and alert. And remember, you know, we've all been in this state of lockdown and, you know, all of these these you know quarantines and being stuck in the home so the masculines are being guided to do something about it if they've been sitting around getting lost in netflix or you know whatever they've been doing they're being guided to get out into nature and really free up the energy and look after themselves and archangel michael wow look at that we've got archangel michael coming through i also feel this angel as archangel sandalfin and the energy of archangel shamuel so three powerful angels around the masculines today. Archangel Shamuel helping them to find what they are seeking within themselves, within their journey, within you. Archangel Sandalfin answering their pray prayers, guiding them on. So, you know, it's when they're praying, they're hearing the answers. And Archangel Michael giving them the strength to carry on. We've also got the Six of Swords here. And this is very much about leaving the past in, behind. But what I'm seeing when I'm tuning in intuitively is this is a table and a strategy coming in. There's a strategy, especially within third party situations, moving away, you know, leaving those struggles in the past, seeing the truth, the light coming in where there was darkness. And we've got the direction. You know, this is a two of coins here. But this is about direction and balance. So the masculines are finding the way. You know, you may be looking at your masculine now thinking, are you ever going to see me? Are you ever going to turn around and fully see me? Well, they see you. They see you in the darkness. They are preparing right now. They're just trapped in this fear. They're trapped in situations. They're trapped in lockdown. They're trapped wherever they are right now in their mind. And last night, it's just come back to me now. Thank you. I had a really strange dream and on waking I could remember it fully and I asked the angels what it meant and it was about escape. The masculines are wanting to escape and the escape is only from their mind because I had a dream I was escaping from this kind of castle place and I had to jump out of a window and run away and someone was chasing me and I actually grabbed a bible that was just there on the floor and I held it up and it was a sign of protection protection from what you're running from and the masculines are running from themselves and the angels tune me into this energy to tell a story about the divine masculines or to show you what you're going through feminine and right now the only the only cage is the cage of the mind so you have to think outside the box and the masculines are being cleansed right now and they show me this with this rain it may even be raining where you are but they show me a cleansing coming in are preparing to walk away, to release, to move out of restriction. So this is another sign that restrictions are being eased right now. And we've got the nine of wands. The masculines are not giving up. They're not giving up on you. They're not giving up on this journey. And they're standing up for what they believe in there. The seven of wands. It's showing these changes, you know, opportunities. We've got the six of wands. So there's a lot of action coming in, a lot of fire energy around these cards here. And we've just been shown this spell book you know, a spell book and a one there because it's showing you the taking control. They're starting to see the answers. They're rising through conflict. Look at this, powerful. We've got the five of ones and the four of ones. So they're starting to see the truth. They're moving forward. They're taking action <clears throat> and they're giving me a blocked throat chakra. So they're standing up for what they believe in. 
They're speaking the truth. They're defending themselves so that they can come to you with reunion energy to build a future. The Three of Cups celebration and the Two of Cups is the love. The love between the two of you. So this is what they are fighting for. This is what they are striving for. And the Eight of Wands is about movement forward. So this is showing you they are taking control with their boot right now, gaining wisdom. They're gaining the wand, which is about action and moving forward because they're moving forward towards love. So feminines, what's going on with you right now? Wow. Well, you know that your masculine is going to make your dreams come true. You know, and look at this, we've got the number nine there for beginnings. And look in the background, it says want to believe, want to believe. So feminines, this is about you believing that your masculine is making the changes, believing that, you know, this is real. I mean, this is about aliens here. So it's believing in a higher power, that there's something bigger than you watching over this journey, that there's great power coming in right now. And your masculine is taking control. So this is showing you you're starting to believe that your divine masculine is doing the work. And that they are releasing. They're releasing the past. They're fighting their demons. And you're fighting your demons right now, feminines. You're releasing your snakes and you're fighting your battles. You're overcoming what needs to be overcome to believe in this journey. And to believe in your divine masculine. And to gain wisdom and to gain strength. And that's what you're doing there. This is like the cycles of what you're going through. That you're creative. You're painting your own picture. You're releasing. You know, you're moving things forward. You're creating. So a lot of creativity and wisdom coming through in this card. And that's why we've got the jellyfish for resilience. Because you're strong and powerful. Your jellyfish totem is reminding you that there is no need to feel vulnerable when you come from the heart. Allow others around you to see who you are. So let your inner light shine and reach out with love and affection. Trusting your heart and its guidance is vital right now. So if you're being guided to reach out, this may again be on the 5D realm. Like me last night sending that healing to George. If you need to send healing to your masculine right now, if you need to send love, do it, you know, do it, do it, do it, however you're guided to do it. This jellyfish totem is saying to you, you know, allow others around you to see who you are, shine your light. Don't be worried about being vulnerable because it's not a weakness, it's a strength and reach out. So I feel this may be a sign that maybe you're ready to reach out to your masculine, but remember, do it with no expectations. But it's also a sign that your masculine is reaching out to you, especially if you've been having the arm pain. You know, you have to believe in the love. And this jellyfish is reminding you, feminine, how powerful you are. We've also got the dragon. And I love this because the dragons have been helping on the journey, removing obstacles, removing fear. And we've got wealth there. Your spiritual dragon wants you to reach your true potential and it can provide knowledge to those who are worthy of its insight. Some associate the appearance of a spiritual dragon with riches, but in reality, it's more to do with being rich in happiness. This is true wealth and is a path that spirit dragons may guide us down. So you're being guided right now down the path towards spiritual happiness, towards peace towards feeling better and happy and joyful and blissful so this is also a sign that your creativity the things you're doing right now is bringing in wealth things are changing in your life family you're working on your mission your goals your desires and you're actually feeling good you're coming up as the queen there of pentacles and this is you moving forward making changes maybe you're preparing to travel Hey, maybe things are being restricted where you are and, you know, the restrictions are lifting and you're thinking about the future, about travel, movement, making changes. Maybe you're thinking about moving home, a new beginning somewhere, changing location, changing jobs. There's movement here and the movement comes from your power and your strength and you're being given the abundance you need right now. And you're being reborn and you're trusting that Cupid has got your back, that all the pieces are being fit into the, the puzzle. You know, they've got the pieces there. This is like you and your masculine. And this is the divine putting the last piece in the puzzle. You've got the rainbow there for protection. So there's a lot of changes going on. 
So this is powerful. We've also got the butterfly for transformation. So a lot of transformation going on in your life right now, in your journey. You're blooming and growing. You're becoming stronger. So I'm seeing dragonflies specifically connected with the masculine's transformation because that's more kind of intense and deep. And the butterfly for the transformation that you're going through because you're working on creativity and strength and you're bringing in abundance. Look how powerful this is. You know, this is abundance flowing in magic. You know, this is showing the harvest coming in. It's a fertile time, a fertile time for union to bring in the love that you're seeking, the happiness, the happy ever after. But you have to release the past. And this card came out also for the masculines. The six of swords there, leave the past behind and don't listen to the battle between the ego and the higher self because your higher self will always overcome ego. In other words, faith over fear. Trust in the illusion. And remember, your mask is wearing a mask right now and they are portraying themselves to be someone else. So if anything feels stuck or stagnant, it's because things are being left behind to move forward to you. And they're showing these great changes coming in. So in the journey then, we've got here, wow, we'll look at this one, you know. This is showing you Snow White. Snow White there. And we've got the apples. So this is the temptation of the journey, the, to the divine feminine. It's the journey to union. And the temptation comes in on the way. You know, this is when somebody perhaps comes in and, you know, kind of gets your masculine's attention and you start thinking, who's that person? You know, why are they, why are they there? But remember, they're there to teach them something and they will never fit in that shoe. Only you will do. And they are always obsessing and fantasizing and tempted by the divine feminine. So what I'm seeing in this is two things. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. Don't worry about what's happening on the journey. Just trust the journey and remember that you hold all the apples. So it doesn't matter how many people are around your masculine, there's only you. And we've got the strength coming in here, determination, standing up for what you believe in standing strong, getting ready for a new beginning, leaving the past behind, you know, it's about sorting things out, preparation, planning, preparing for this amazing new beginning that will make your dreams come true, thank you for giving me fear, and this is the nine of cups, it's about leaving the past behind, getting on a new road to it, making changes, you know, leaving behind the past. And the past could have been something they've put a lot of time into, energy. So this could be a marriage or a family and they're walking away from that. It could be a really high-powered job or an opportunity or something in society. It could be their fame or fortune, but they're giving it up to go from riches to rags for love. So it's showing that they're prepared to leave everything behind for love and it's taking off now with this rocket. It's showing that they're giving me the dog for loyalty and the bag for change. So there's great changes going on here, transformation and the journey. And it's showing you the power of the divine feminine, the power of the insight within you, the intuition coming through the psychic side. And this is what you're both tuning into, the reality of what this is. This is the power. The Ace of Cups here is showing the love. The power of the journey, new love. It's moving into something new because it's emerging. And feminines, you're shining right now. You're thriving. This is why your masculine is, is guided to you. It's drawn to you like a moth to a flame because of who you are. And this is your masculine sitting there late at night thinking of you. Like Sherlock Holmes, preparing, putting plans into place, deciding what to do, making changes. So these are great changes coming in. They're sitting there kind of working out a plan, you know, putting the details in there, finding out what to do so they can come and be with you. And this is a temptation here. You know, look at the power in that card there. This is like Jack the Ripper. So this is showing you that the masculines can't wait to kind of sink their teeth into you. You know, it's like Jack the Ripper, it's like Dracula, it's the energy. So this is also showing me this is leaving the past behind. It's the masculines removing anything toxic from their lives. It's about the way they attempted by the divine feminine, the passion between the two of you, you know, holding you. And sometimes you feel like your masculine has grabbed you by the neck. You know, you can't get away. It's that feeling that you're in their grip and you can't get away. You can't hide from the love. And that's why direction is coming in. So they, these cards are really showing a lot of solitude for the masculines right now. 
because they're working out what to do, they're making plans, they're finding their way, they're sorting things out, they're finding direction. And for the feminine, you're in your power because you're evolving, growing, you're learning your power, you're in your psychic side, you're tuned in with the divine, you're finding out who you are, you're focusing on service, you know, you're working on you and it's working for you. So when I tune in with your energies intuitively, I see the masculine as the hermit right now, planning, contemplating as the magician, working out what to do, finding a strategy, finding all the tools within their, their bag, you know, their bag of tricks to finding things out. And for the feminine, I see you in your queen of pentacles and your nine of pentacles energy, working on you, queen of wands as well, creative, fiery, strong, you know, enjoying life, thriving right now, working on you. And we've got here the man mantra ray, okay, the mantra ray with perceptiveness. The mantra ray symbolizes grace, flow and collaboration. He is ultra sensitive to the flow of energy and can help you be more efficient at tapping into this flow. Allow your mantra ray totem to help you to notice the nuances of energetic currents and adjust your emotions accordingly so you don't waste your energy. So this is about protecting your energy. And seeing things from a different perspective. It's about shielding yourself and seeing the truth. And we've got the heron for insight going within. You are being called to have courage and follow your true path, which will be discovered through exploring your inner self. So another sign that the masculines are going within to find their path right now, to go within and find their inner, inner self, to find the courage to follow their truth. And feminines, you're doing you right now, which is you following your truth. And your innate wisdom will show you how to be more self-reliant. And the heron is here to remind you that grounding yourself in the earth and your spiritual beliefs will help you discover emotional insights more clearly. So it's about grounding, going within, meditation, hope for the future coming in there speaking to heaven, making a wish. And yesterday the masculine said, I made a wish and you appeared. So the masculines are wishing for you. They're dreaming of you. They're unlocking the doors to be with you. So the doors have been unlocked now. The door is open. And remember when I spoke about the fly, the fly hitting the window and it's trying to get out and you've already opened that door, but they have to find the way. Well, they are now unlocking that door. Feminines, you're unlocking that door every day and it's leading to happiness. It's leading to blessings. It's leading to this new beginning. It's leading to change. And your masculine, the angels are telling me, are leaving behind things, addictions, drink. You know, if they were drinking alcohol to mask their fear, they're now moving away from that. You know, a lot of us can't go to bars. We can't socialize. So they're spending time within and it's building a future. So you're building a future now, releasing the past, things are being resurrected, building a future, something's coming, you know, moving away from the fear and the lack and the doubt, letting go of the struggle. It's about bringing in new opportunities and change. It's about releasing the past and seeing it for what it is, facing the ego and the devil and the fear. And a lot of minor arcana have come up in this reading to show you that things are being worked on. And the devil is about the fear. And the higher self is, is moving above that right now. And the consciousness is coming out. So the fear is really bringing all the core cool wounds up for healing so the masculines can be set free. You know, they're seeing the truth right now. They're also giving me the word cougar. So very much connected with age gaps. So things are being healed within age gaps right now. And we've got the eight of pentacles, hard work, determination. Nine of pentacles, that energy that I see the feminine in right now, working on freedom. The ten of pentacles for building stability. We've got the two of pentacles for juggling and bringing in a new future and the two of wands for crossroad energy and bringing in this change. So it's about forward motion and the answer to everything right now in this journey is healing. Healing, patience, calm, strength, unicorn energy, nurturing energy, nurturing your masculine, sending them love so that action can come in. The ace of wands action, the cat is taking control, the masculines are opening their spell book, they're gaining wisdom, they're taking that wand, they're taking control, they're getting ready to cast their spell, they're getting ready to take action. So a lot of fire energy coming in, the cat is signifying change, independence and strength and power and this cat here is showing you that, independence, strength and power. 
So things have been healed right now. The masculine's eyes are wide open. Feminine, your eyes are wide open. Clarity's coming in. It's powerful. Powerful change coming into the connection today. So trust this connection. Remember that you are loved and keep the faith. And remember, if you want to be a member, follow all the, the description below and you can get a chance to win this deck as well. The Power of Surrender Club.